Hi everyone, my name is Pauline and I'm a nuclear medicine resident from Belgium. In this video, I will explain the basic principles of a bone scan. First of all, one of the most frequently asked questions, is a bone scan safe? Well, I can reassure you, although the term radioactivity may sound alarming, the radioactive chemicals used in bone scans are considered to be safe. The dose of radiation that your body receives is very little. It is even less than a CT scan. And did you know that we live in a world with significant levels of natural radioactivity? The average dose of ionizing radiation per year in the US is almost the same as one whole body scan. However, no level of radiation is completely safe, and as with any other type of radiation, there is a small risk that the radiation may affect an unborn child. So tell your doctor if you're pregnant or if you may be pregnant. Also, tell them if you're breastfeeding. Breastfeeding mothers may undergo the procedure, but they will need to cease breastfeeding for 12 hours after the scan. And lastly, bone scans generally have no side effects. In very rare cases, allergic reactions to the injected chemical can happen. I hope I've convinced you that the benefits of having a bone scan outweigh the risk of exposure to the small amount of radiation received during the scan. But now, what is a bone scan exactly and how do I prepare for this? A bone scan is a nuclear imaging procedure that helps to diagnose several types of bone problems, such as arthritis, stress fractures and infections involving the bone. It is also used to detect if cancer from another area in the body has spread to the bone. In all these cases, bone cells make more bone because the body tries to fix the problem. There's no special preparation for a bone scan. You can eat and drink as you usually would. You will be asked to put on a hospital gown and to remove jewelry and other metal objects. Once you are ready, a tiny amount of a radioactive substance is injected into a vein. You will have to wait for 2 to 4 hours to ensure that the substance has entered the bones. During the waiting period, you can either stay in the hospital or leave and come back. You will be asked to drink 6 glasses of water to flush any excess tracer that was not absorbed by the bone cells. The radioactive substance goes to the areas of bone damage and special cameras will pick up the pattern of radioactivity. The scan itself can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Higher bone activity will show up as a dark spot on the image. A bone scan is not noisy like an MRI and is less likely to trigger claustrophobia since you won't be placed in an enclosed space as you would with an MRI or CT scan. In addition, bone scans cause no pain. However, you have to remain in one position for long periods of time and that may cause some discomfort. And finally, what can you expect after the scan? Well, you should not feel any side effects from the tracer or the test itself and there won't be any restrictions on your activities such as driving after the scan. The physician will ask you to drink extra fluids because the radioactivity is eliminated from your body and your urine. The radioactivity is usually completely eliminated within 24 hours after the scan. Don't worry about exposing others to radiation, you're not dangerous. A little side note for those who are interested, sexual intercourse is also safe. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. 